Hi everyone, this is Seas. Today I'm out. Look at this gorgeous countryside. Very nice day. Very beautiful. I'm out with my mother in law and my kids. We are at an indoor flea market. And there's the sign there out in the country. Look at these. First thing I saw were these records. I love, I don't have records because I don't have a record player, but I think people who collect these are super awesome. I'm looking at some of the titles here just to see if any of you guys recognize any of these. I just think, I think old stuff like records and record players are super cool. They're awesome. John, Elton John. Whiz kid. I didn't get the pricing on these, but I'm pretty sure these things have to be about a dollar each. Not really sure what the going rate on these guys are. I think it's cool that they're still around. You have to you have to dig in pretty good, but when you find them, you, you find a few of them. Sometimes I see these at like Goodwill or Salvation Army. I'm not really sure how popular these things are. How often they get snatched up. So today I went out specifically looking for hankies and gloves. I When I drive, my left hand is always in the sun. So I'm looking for gloves that go all the way up to my elbows. That way um, I can protect myself from the sun. So that's what I was looking for today. I didn't find any. Look at this gorgeous stuff. Anything with old writing I think is awesome. Somebody a long time ago wrote that. I don't know why I think that's awesome. Maybe because it's still around. I'm able to see it even though it's old. I like seeing old stuff. So I didn't find the gloves that I was looking for. I did find some gloves, but they don't go all the way down to my elbow. They go about halfway around my forearm. So it's still, and they don't, the, the gloves I got, they don't stretch. Oh, look at these, look at these old movies. Men in Black, like it. I like it. I'm sure it's a goofy movie to like, but see the rookie seen it like it and speed i i remember watching the movie speed with my dad i used to watch a lot of action adventure movies growing up because that's what my dad liked so that's what i ended up watching so a lot of the old movies like rocky i love all the old rocky movies and uh, what is uh, chuck norris all the chuck norris movies movies seen them love them huge fan of action adventure and scary movies my dad wasn't so much into scary movies but i was i'm very much into scary movies so the gloves that i ended up getting they're not the stretchy type of gloves so um, of course my nails are long so my fingers don't oh my fit gosh, in all the way the cute cat hi baby cat Look at this Hi, baby. baby. Oh my gosh. Look at the look at the tail on that cat. Super adorable. When I saw that cat, I was so surprised and happy and excited at the same time. I have a black cat and her name is Kitty, but her her tail isn't all fluffy and adorable like that cat. That cat was very, very affectionate too. The one that just walked by me. Usually cats when, oh look at these signs. Old stuff. Awesome. Cool. Usually cats, they're scared of you and like freak out and run away. I ended up buying about 
four dolls today and three pairs of gloves and two hankies uh, like a cupboard and a little broom, a handheld broom an old candle oh look at these things croquet I love this game I used to have a friend her name was um, or her name is she's still alive her name is Marianne and I, I think it was maybe fourth grade so I would have been nine years old I played this game with her I remember playing it for the first time I absolutely loved it loved it there's a movie where the girls there's this movie with mean girls and they play that croquet a lot it's not I'm trying to think of the name can't think right now it has a name like the Tiffany's or I don't know Jennifer's the Jennifer's can't remember it's on Netflix right now only reason I know about it is because it's on Netflix I saw it recently I want to see how's that girl from girl interrupted the girl from Beetlejuice. What's her name? I, I want to say that girl is in the movie that I'm thinking about with the croquet. I'm not good with names. I can't remember names. Look at these. Who collects these? I was thinking of collecting these, but I'm already collecting so much junk that I haven't started collecting these. I like them though. I think they're awesome. I had a lot of fun coming to this place. I want to go back there again. There's a lot of stuff that I saw that I wanted, but I couldn't get it. And part of the reason was because it wouldn't fit in my car. I really need to buy a truck so I can just buy whatever I feel like buying. Oh, I bought a baby carriage for me to put my dolls in, and holy moly, that thing would not fit in my trunk. I tried... Oh, look at this thing. I think my dad used to have one of these. This is awesome. Who still has this? This is really cool. It's so old. Look, you put your little maps. I couldn't pull it out, but they were really tight in there. I think it's really cool. Some old stuff. Of course, now you don't need things like that. You have a smartphone now. <gasps> I got this! I saw this and I love anything that has to do with spelling and grammar. I'm all about that. This is an 8th grade uh, someone from 1930 in their 8th grade used this. Look at that awesome writing. Do 8th graders even do this anymore? I want to say no. I don't even think they teach handwriting anymore. Like cursive? I don't think they do that anymore. Penmanship in 8th grade, 1930s. Amazing. I got this. It's in my room right now. I love it. I'm going to go through it and read everything. Oh, I got these jumbo size deck, deck of cards. I collect tarot decks, and I don't really have a bunch of deck of cards. I got a couple of them from when I was in the military. I don't know why people think um, it's cool to donate deck of cards to the military, but I must have gotten about five decks of cards, playing cards, while I was in the military. I still have them now, so the, I think this is just gorgeous. Has the name written right there still? Adorable. So uh, the deck of cards that I got today at the indoor flea market is a jumbo deck of cards, which I thought were super cool, especially because they're super old. So, oh my gosh, I wanted to get this so bad, this thing, it's covered with all this stuff on top. But I really want to have one of these things and just hang it in my bedroom somewhere or in the living room. Oh, this is a Mexican wedding vase. 
I am Mexican, and I didn't even know Mexicans had a wedding vase. Who knew? I didn't know. What? Oh, this is like antique stuff, so it's probably from the 30s, and Mexicans used to have a wedding vase when they got married? I don't know. My mom never told me anything about that. Look, this is an this is a really old purse. I almost wanted to get it, but I'm not really too big on collecting purses, so didn't get it. This video is it was a hun it was a hundred and forty minutes long, and it's fifty six minutes long right now. This has to be my longest video so far and I think YouTube lets me upload a 200 and something minute video as if I'm actually gonna do that no I think this is 56 minutes is pretty long and there isn't a lot of tapping in this one it's mostly showing antiques I think these are awesome I'm very glad that I made this video I don't know when is the next time I'm going to be able to go again? But next time I go again, I'm going to try to take more video. There's this other place that we went to today. It's called The Barn. And it, it used to be an actual barn, and they turned it into a restaurant. And it has an antique shop next to it. And I wanted to make a video in there. I really wanted to, but I didn't. I didn't, um, I wasn't, I was motivated, but I, I was kind of shy because it's, it's, the antique store, it used to be a house, like a five bedroom house. It's this huge house and they turned it into a store. So when you go in, there's immediately someone there like greeting you. And I don't know if the inside, I'm guessing the inside has security cameras and I don't know if they're going to say, hey, you can't do that. You can't record here. So I kind of was scared to do it there. It's not like Walmart where it's hundreds of people and nobody specifically is watching you. I was the only customer in that store. So, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Let me tell you this quick story. When I used to live in Madera in California, Madera is by Fresno about, I want to say maybe 30 minutes from Fresno. I was in second grade. I was seven years old, so my brother would have been nine. We used to walk to the stores, and we didn't really, um, we didn't really buy stuff. My brother kind of stole things back then, and he would, like, you know, like, I would go along with him, and I knew what he was doing. One time he got caught stealing baseball cards, and they put me and my brother in this little security room and I was so freaking out I thought we were gonna go to jail but my brother's like calm down nothing's gonna happen calm down he was all sure of himself and I was like you know freaking out and having a heart attack anyway I remember he used to have um, comic books I loved comic books because my brother loved them and I thought it was the cool thing to to like comic books and baseball cards. So every time I saw my brother's collection of baseball cards and comic books, I was I always thought it was super cool. I thought my brother was super awesome and amazing for having all those comic books and stuff. I don't remember stealing comic books. I just remember he would steal um baseball cards. I actually don't think I stole baseball cards baseball cards I think it just my brother did and I was just kind of like his little sister I, he had to take me everywhere I guess my dad told him to so I I just went along with my brother and saw what he did look at my fingernail I can't believe my nails are so long I look at my nails every day and I say can't believe my nails are so long Isn't that thing cool? Phones used to be so cool back then. I mean, phones are cool now, but you know what I mean, right? They're just so vintage. Look at these little hats. Hat boxes. I think they're cool. 
I don't have any. Well, I have one, but it has some old hats from like 1910. And I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to sell them. I don't know how much I'm going to get for them, but I'm going to put them on eBay and see how much I get. My mother-in-law got them. Oh, look at this cute broom. I got the little baby version of this. I think that's super adorable. Little mirror. A handheld mirror. How cute. Look at that. I would have never thought of doing that. I think that's so cute. I can just picture someone using that back in, like, 1910. That's the one I got. Got the little baby one. Super cute. Oh my gosh, I wanted to buy every doll that I saw today, but I didn't. I wanted to get these two dolls, but I didn't. A lot of cute stuff here. I want to turn my house into a museum so my house can have all this cute stuff in it. I think I got that one. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I got that one. I got that one and another one. So I got two of these. Look at how cute that is. Isn't it adorable? So cute and raggedy. I got some books today. Dolls. Oh, and these cute roller skates. Some really, really old roller, roller skates for, for like a kid. Very vintage. And I got the little key thingies that go to them. So you can make them bigger. I should, ha I should make a video showing you guys the stuff that I bought. Let me know if you want to see that video and I can grab all my stuff and, you know, put them all together and make a quick video, like a 15 minute video showing you guys all the cute stuff that I got. I love this place. I want to go there again. Look at that. Happy juice. Oh, I love this book. They grabbed a piece of cloth and glued it on the book. Who? What? Who thinks of this stuff? That's crazy. I have never grabbed a book and glued cloth on it. I've just never thought of doing it. I didn't even think people did that. I love old books. Anything old... Especially books, stuff you can read. I'm all into that. I didn't get this book. Why? Why didn't I get it? I think it's because it had that cloth stuck on it. I like books, but... I don't know, I just didn't want that cloth on it, I guess. It's cute, but not for me. Maybe someone else will like it. Oh my gosh, I found this really cute book cover. Okay, right now, if you're in 8th grade or whatever grade, they have book covers. What do they look like? I have, oh my gosh, I got this. It's like a powder thing. I'm thinking that's what girls use to put powder on their face. I don't know, but that's what I'm thinking. That's what they used it for. So I got it because I thought it was cute. It's sort of cosmetic type and feminine so I got it so what do book covers look like they look thin and you just slap it on your book like your math book and it hugs the math book it's like saran wrap I used to make my parents were too poor to buy to buy me book covers so I used to get paper bags from the grocery store and my brother taught me how to do book covers using a paper bag so that that's what I used to do I bought a book cover that is super vintage and it has floral stuff like floral 
flowers and little leaves and stuff. It's all made of cloth, but it's super adorable. Very fancy. And I think I paid $8 for it. I am super in love with it. I cannot believe I found it. It's amazing. I love it. I can just picture someone in the 1900s using that book cover all fancy in their little carriage, like driving around in their carriage, being pulled in their wagon, whatever, with that cute book cover. Super cute. Mirror with buttons. I actually have a button jar, and I saw a bunch of button jars for $5. I didn't buy them because I have jars. Whenever I buy, um, like, peanut butter or jelly, I always keep the jars because I feel... I'm, I hoard jars. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be open about it. I hoard jars. Anything that has a lid, if it's made out of glass, I'm gonna hoard it. I'm not gonna throw it away. And I put, um, I collect tickets from when I go to the movies, so I have a huge collection of that. I collect that, I collect, um, you know like when you buy stuff from Victoria's Secret and it has that little pin that's connecting the tag to the clothes? Okay, I collect those. And I collect buttons. I collect so much stuff. And I always feel like jars, they have a use and I can put my craziness. I have so many keys that, like old keys from old stuff that I've used and I no longer have the, the whatever, like uh, the lock. I have keys to locks that I don't know where the lock is, but I, I still have the key. So I, ha I have keys to a bunch of craziness. So I can just put my keys or my buttons or whatever's in those jars. So for me, I don't feel like I need to pay $5 for something that I can do myself. So that's the only reason why I didn't get those jars of buttons. I can picture someone else getting it, though. Maybe someone else doesn't have a whole lot of buttons. I know I do. I got buttons everywhere. Every time I buy something, they always have the little pouch thingy with the extra button. I never use that button. I just collect it, put it in a jar. Just keep collecting them. One day I'll use the button for something. I don't know what. I When I walk somewhere, I see a button on the floor, I pick it up. I don't... I never pass up a button. If I see a button on the ground, even if it's raining that day, even if it's raining and I see like a penny or a button, if it's something that I think I'm going to want. Oh my gosh, this is everything that I bought just now. I, I just showed it. Um, yeah, if I see anything that I like and it's on the ground and it's fair game, I'm going to get it. You know? I found it. Finders keepers. Oh, I love this thing. I have never seen this before. It's a little telephone directory thing. I thought it was super cute. I've never seen one before. I I got it. It's in my room right now. And I got these little pieces of papers that people used to use to roll up their tobacco. It looked vintage and I smoked, so I got it. I thought it was cute. This you know what? You really have to go through this place and get down on your knees and look through the stuff down there somewhere. There's so many hidden treasures. Look at this cute thing. Mexican heat powder. What is that? Heat powder. Aww. Cherries. Chocolate cherries. Chocolate covered cherries. I love chocolate covered cherries. Look at this cute fan. I didn't buy it because I could already... I already know I'm going to rip it. I'm going to break it. I break everything. I break all my fans. If it's not me breaking it, it's my kids. If it's not my kids, it's going to be me. Look at that. I had one little candle in there. Why? Why is it even there? Oh my gosh, here's the little cute papers. I thought it was super cute. I haven't even opened it. They're still in their little bag. I never took them out. I have them in my room in their little bag. So cute. Here's the deck of cards. The giant deck of cards. Playing. Playing cards. My 
I used to play cards with my dad. Now, I don't know if I played cards with my mom. I'm guessing I played cards with my mom. Mostly memories with my dad. These things are huge. I think these are bigger than the actual tarot deck that I have. I have a huge tarot deck. And it's pretty big. So this place that I went to, this huge indoor flea market, it was pretty much like a huge barn type looking factory looking thing. Like, it could totally be a huge auto mechanic shop. Like, a huge shop where you do auto mechanics. It was pretty lit. I, I'm doing this commentary and editing on my phone. And it, it's it's looking pretty lit on my phone. I can't... I can't really tell yet because I keep my phone's brightness all the way down. I never have my brightness up. I hate it. I hate sucking up the battery life. Anything that sucks up battery life, I'm against it. So if I don't need to have my Bluetooth on, I turn it off. If I don't have to have NFC on, I turn that off. If I don't need to have Wi-Fi on, I turn that off. If... Like, anything that sucks up your energy, I don't want it on my phone. And right now, my brightness is all the way down, my battery is 9%, and decreasing, because the, doing this right now is sucking up a lot of uh, battery. And my phone is charging right now, but of course, I don't know what it is with these phone, the, these chargers for my phone. I keep messing them up. My kids ruin them. I ruined them. I bought five of these chargers for $25 on Amazon. They're they're like gone pretty much. This one that I'm using, it's hanging on by a thread. Any day now, this thing is just going to go bye-bye. I ended up going to Target and buying one for just one for $20. And I am guarding that thing with my life. Look at this thing. I have a brand new Monopoly, but this is so vintage and so cute and old, I had to get it. It's in my room right now. And it came with the regular size, the big board pieces. This is really cool. I can't believe I found this. I had to get this because how often do you see one of these things? It's not that often. I mean, you might find one at Goodwill if you're lucky. But holy moly, I've never seen one at Goodwill, and I, I pretty much live at Goodwill. I go there all the time. So I've never seen this before. Had to get it. Oh, here are the board pieces. Couldn't show that part because I had to put the phone down to grab the pieces. I got a lot of cool stuff today. I'm really excited. My kid... Um, one of my kids saw the the dolls that I was getting, and he said, Oh no, don't buy the dolls. High School? My kids are scared of dolls. It it's hilarious. I thought that was a yearbook. Every time I see a yearbook, I want to buy it. I want to buy every yearbook that I... I have never had a yearbook. No, I had one yearbook when I was in, I think, fourth grade. And I don't even know where that yearbook is anymore. I wish I had my high school yearbook. Well, one of my high school yearbooks. I wish I had the high school yearbook from when I was in 11th grade. That's the one I wish I had. Look at this cute thing. I was going to get that, but what would I do with it? $3. Morse code. I always tell myself I have to learn it. I want to learn it because you never know when you're going to need it. You never know what's going to happen. Every Everyone knows something crazy is going to happen one of these days eventually. And 
when that day comes, you're going to want to know Morse code. Why? I don't know. I'm just making things up right now. I'm just guessing. I like to guess. I like to play the guessing game a lot. Especially with my kids. I know it's wrong, but I do that a lot. And we're usually guessing about my husband. Sports glasses. Super cute. There was an episode I saw on Everybody Loves Raymond, and it was about the mom doing bets with her kids. And they would bet to see, like, she would get her hair done or she would get earrings, like, brand, like nice earrings. She would have them on her ears, and she would play the guessing game or the betting game in that, in that situation, in that episode. She would bet her kids, um, who wants to bet daddy's, if daddy's going to notice my earrings? And the kids would laugh, and she would laugh. And so, of course, Raymond never notices anything, so course the kids would win because oh look at this this is a lighter i didn't dare touch that part it looked all moldy or whatever but i didn't know what that thing was so when i opened it i i noticed it's like a lighter i thought it was cool it was like a pen or like a lipstick you open it like a lipstick and it's a lighter pretty cool i've never seen one before I think lighters are cool. Uh, I bought a lighter one time at Walmart, and it was the Zip lighter. I didn't know you had to buy the little, you know, the fluid, light, lighting fluid. I didn't know that. So when I went back to Walmart to buy the lighting fluid, they didn't have any for a, for a long time. Not, not for like four weeks. For months. They went about six months without lighting fluid. I don't know what happened, but I ended up taking back that. I am I am a huge believer in keeping packaging. I have packaging right now from three years ago because I believe once I resell whatever item that is, I can put it back in the packaging and it'll it'll sell a lot more than uh, a lot faster than another item on eBay that doesn't have the packaging. So I always keep packaging. So when I returned that little zip lighter, I had the packaging and I'm sure it was, you know, past the the return policy whatever date, but they don't need to know that. I didn't take the receipt. I just took the packaging back to Walmart and said, you guys don't have the lighting fluid, so I want to return it. And they took it. I got my money back. And those things are never on sale. So I think I must have paid maybe $9 for that thing. That That's my story on the zip lighter. Who would have thunk it? I never imagined I'd be telling people that on YouTube. But it happened. Look at this. I don't have my high school diploma because I left it behind when I moved out of my house and I guess my mom must have thrown it away. But I kind of felt like buying this one so that someone can have that high school diploma and whoever used to have that one, maybe when they're wondering, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. I always feel like Someone might be happy if I have something. Like if I would have bought that high school diploma, maybe that person would have somehow been happy that I had it. I don't know what I'm thinking. Look at this cute thing! I love little dolls that move like that. I think that's awesome. I got that. I got it for one of my kids. He probably doesn't think it's awesome, but I do. I think it's awesome. I was trying to find more, but I couldn't find any more. I found one that had some stuff on the back, but I couldn't figure out what it was for. Look, look at that. I couldn't figure it out.
pretty weird. Oh, I was trying to find a date to see how old this thing is. I couldn't find a date. I like getting the old Barbies. You, have you have you noticed that the Barbies now, their knees don't bend. They're like not real Barbies anymore. They're fake. The older Barbies from the 80s, maybe even the 90s, those Barbies, you could bend the knees. You could hear it snap. Like, like I used to bend the hell out of those knees because I liked listening to that sound. But now when I go to bend the knees, like I'll go to Goodwill and I'll find a Barbie. I'll bend the knees to see if it makes that sound. And if it doesn't, then I know that's not a real Barbie. That's one of those fake new Barbies that they're making. They're not even real. You can actually tell when it's real too by the texture the old ones the texture was more um gushy like a gushy you could poke it with your thumbnail and your thumbnail can make a little indent and you can see the imprint of your thumbnail okay that's the real barbie the new barbie no it's like this hard plastic not not the yummy, soft, gooey plastic. You know what I mean? I don't like the new Barbies. Those new Barbies, they can keep them. I don't buy new Barbies. I only buy old Barbies. They need to go back to the... Oh, look at this. Cute. All of this cute old stuff. Oh, one of these is super funny. It said, look and like... Mesmer, uh, mesmerize or something, but don't touch. It was really cute what it said. It's going to come up here. 1973. Custom radios. Like Buick. Skylark. I don't even know what that is. 37.95. Wow. Tune up. Yeah, they need to go back to the 80s and the 90s and start doing toys like they did back then with actual nice plastic. Uh, I don't like also the toys that I buy the kids if the elbows don't bend or the the ankles don't bend. I don't like that. I like everything to move, not just the shoulder area. I, I even want the wrist to move. That's That's legit. If the wrist moves, then that's awesome. That's a good toy. If it doesn't move, not a good toy. These are cute for the Army and the Marine Corps and the Navy. I think that's what it said. Here it is. How cute. Reminiscent dream, but don't touch. That's, that's cute. When I saw that, I was like, whoa. You know what I also wish? I wish gas stations would go back to uh, gassing your own your your car and then you can tip them. I would go to a gas station that did that because I don't want to risk breaking a nail just to gas my car. And I very rarely gas my car. My husband does that for me. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I thought that was adorable. I think someone who collects watches and just loves watches, I think they would buy that. I wouldn't. I'm not a big collector of the watches. I collect mugs. I think I collect them. I tell my husband that I buy them to sell them, but deep inside, I'm collecting them. I have a collection. My favorite are mugs that I bought at Goodwill. It says... Laurel Defense Systems, 
and those have to be one of my favorite mugs that I have. I think I have about eight of them. I actually have one on, on my desk. I use it to put my pencils inside of. I think, I think it's cute having a really nice mug with your pencils. Oh, I'm going to tell you a story. When I was in fifth grade and sixth grade, it was the cool thing for you to have pencils. I would have pencils in a, in a cup, like a mug, and it was a bunch of trolls, the, the, the pencil toppers, it was a bunch of troll pencil toppers. So I had this huge mug with pencils. It was gorgeous. It was adorable. And we would take that to our desk in fifth grade and sixth grade. And all, all of the girls did this. It wasn't just me. I wasn't like, you know, weird. Well, if I was weird, it was all of us that were weird, not just me. So my parents decided it would be awesome for us to move. So we moved to this area that was a little different. There were a different type of characters in that school. Let's just say I showed up first day with my trolls. I had a wall of trolls, by the way. I had about 13 or 14 trolls that I would line up across my desk. And So I called this my wall of trolls. So I went to this new school and I had my trolls, I had my mug with all my pencils stuffed into it and everybody, oh and I was wearing this really gorgeous dress by the way, and it, all of the kids looked at me like I was from another planet. I felt so out of place there. Everyone was dressed in baggy pants and they the girls were wearing makeup. The other school I was from, none of the girls wore makeup. And nobody wore dra baggy pants. And I don't know, it, just, it was just so different. My parents took us from a really... They took us from a really nice school that where I felt safe, like no one was going to hurt me, to this really crazy school that I felt everybody was in a gang and everyone was doing drugs and the kids were already, you know, doing inappropriate things that they shouldn't be doing. It was just so weird how, how different people are in certain areas. I went from a really nice area to a not so nice area. And I I didn't even know that was going to be be the case because nobody told me. I I didn't know that that existed. I didn't know kids were like that. All I knew was trolls and happiness and a huge mug full of pencils. And it was the cool thing to not have your pencils sharpened. So that one first day Someone asked me if they could use my pencil, which, by the way, really upset me because I want you to be prepared. If I'm going to be prepared, you have to be prepared. Don't ask me for a piece of paper or for a pencil or whatever. Just don't ask me for it. You should be prepared. So someone asked me for a pencil, and she, she didn't even like let, let me hand it to her. She just pulled one out, and she saw that it wasn't sharpened, so she put it back in and grabbed another one. She must have grabbed maybe like three of them or four of them. And she, she asked me, how come your pencils aren't sharpened? And I just looked at her like, because I don't want to sharpen them. Oh my gosh, I made so many enemies. I, like my whole, my whole career as a child, I made enemies because I didn't want to share paper or because I didn't want to share my pencils. It was just weird. My, my life as a child was hard. I think even in the military... My, my life in the military was hard because I wanted people to be a certain way and when they weren't a certain way, I, it, my OCD kicked in and I could, I like freaked out because people aren't prepared and whatever. People are never prepared and 
Oh my goodness, you should have seen people driving today. People were cutting me off and they're tailgating each other. My dad always taught me not to tailgate because it's rude and that's how accidents happen. Okay, I never tailgate anyone. Oh my gosh, look at this cute dress. Isn't this dress adorable? I don't tailgate people. I don't believe in it. I think people that tailgate, people who tailgate are... Maybe they weren't taught not to or they don't care. I don't know why people do it. I'm sure I have some listeners who like to tailgate. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't help. It doesn't make anyone speed up faster. It doesn't do anything. All it's doing is helping get, helping you get your fix of anger. Your anger management is tailgating. That's pretty much all that is because it's not helping anyone. So... Do I tailgate? No. Today, did I see a lot of tailgaters? I saw many. I saw a lot. And I don't know why a bunch of roads are being worked on right now. My mother-in-law told me that it always happens right before elections. I don't know how much truth there is in that, but I've never noticed it. And if that's true then I guess that makes sense because there was a lot of road work today. And I don't even drive often, and the place I went to today was pretty far. So we saw a lot of road work going over there. That was... This one's got stains on it. Stains? It was a long drive. It was nice getting out and driving through all that country and seeing all the awesomeness. It was fun. I'm glad I went. And although it was far, I still want to say I want to go again because I want to see if I can find more awesome stuff. I love flea markets. I love anything where people go and sell and the system isn't there telling you you have to pay taxes and... You have to, you know, I just, I don't believe in that. I wish, I wish things were a whole lot different than what they are right now. But I think flea markets are one way to make money. You can go over there, resell your stuff. If you're lucky, you pay maybe $10 a day just to be there and sell your stuff. The other thing you could do is eBay. And, but for that one, you have to report you have to report to the IRS like what you make, all that good stuff. So, but I mean, you're, oh, look at this thing. This is the thing that I bought. It's a book cover. Super cute. Not your audience, but your customers. It's worldwide when you're on the eBay. Well, that's if you sell worldwide. I do. I sell to anyone. I don't care where you are. I'll sell you something. If you want to buy it, I'll sell it to you. But a lot of people, they don't like to bother with that because there's a bunch of craziness going on. And they just like to sell in the U.S. But I sell worldwide. So it, it, it even though they charge you tax on... Not charge you tax, but even though you have to report your earnings to the IRS through eBay... It's still good to sell on eBay because you are selling worldwide. So your customers are plenty versus going to a flea market. You're depending on who's going to go that day. So you might not really sell much, even though you're just paying $10 for the spot for that day. So, you know, I don't know. Good and bad and everything. Look at all this gorgeous stuff. I love this place. I want to live there. <laughs> really pretty. Ooh, I like the old desks. Like the vintage desks, those are really, really nice. Look at this. They had a bunch of this stuff there. Oh, 
Oh, that's the that is the biggest ashtray I have ever seen in my life. That was a huge ash ash tray. I have such a hard time saying ashtray. It's a funny word. It was so hard for me to learn English. I learned English when I was in third grade. I was starting to learn. And one of the hardest things for me to learn was the vowels. A-E-I-O-U. That drove me nuts. I couldn't understand how it was A-E-I-O-U because in Spanish it's I-A-E-O-U. So similar yet different. And that drove me nuts. I wanted to get it right and I was beating myself up about it because I wanted to learn English and I was having such a hard time learning English. I think around fourth or fifth grade I started to get the hang of it and one of my uh, brother's teachers, I think her name was Mrs. Sperling, and I could be wrong though, it's been a while. She gave me my first book, it was a Goosebump book, and I read that thing, I think it took me about, I want to say 13 days, but it could have been 7 days. It took me about 7 or 13 days to read the whole Goosebump book. It was Welcome to Horrorland, number 13 I think it was. And I loved it, I loved Goosebump books, I've loved Goosebump books ever since. Every time I see one at Goodwill, I buy it. I want to have the complete collection. I remember my parents never bought me books, so unfortunately I did have to steal books because I was so in love with books and I couldn't buy them because I didn't have a job. So the only way I could have books was by stealing them, unfortunately. And I was fortunate enough not to get caught. You know, it's really sad when kids have to steal because their parents don't buy them a certain something or their parents can't afford a certain something. I never want my kids to steal a book ever. I buy so many books that if, if I ever catch or ever, if I ever find out, if my kids ever tell me that they used to steal books, I'm going to be very angry because... They don't have a reason to be stealing books. I buy them so many books. My book, my, my book, my house is like a library. I have six bookshelves in my house full of books. And I have like books stacked on books because I need more bookshelves. Every time I go to Goodwill, I buy books. I buy dinosaur books, flower books, like gardening books. I buy books galore. I have books everywhere. I have books in my room, in my office, in the di in the dining room, in the cafe, and not in their bedroom. I their be their bedroom is like no books. I don't allow books in there. I've had books in there and they're just they're messy. They don't understand about keeping books, you know, where they belong. So I just don't let books in their bedroom. But there's pretty much books everywhere. And I just never want to know that my kids felt the need to to steal a book. My parents never bought me books. Every once in a while, my dad would give me $5, and I would use that. We would go to yard sales all the time. So I would look for goosebump books at yard sales. And I remember this one time, we went to the a really rich area, and they had about about 10 Goosebump books and they were each Goosebump book was 10 cents. It was it was like book heaven that day. This is the doll that I got. The eyes closed, super cute and scary looking. This doll looks like it it wants to kill you. It looks like it wants to put a curse on you and I love that. It's $5, I think it said $5. And I got 3 of these dolls. Not this one. This one looks all weird, like from Little Red Riding Hood. I got this one. And the baby carriage. The little baby carriage that they were on. So I got all of that. This video's almost over, everyone. Thank you very much for listening. And thank you very much for watching. I'll post again soon. I 
I'll probably have to make another video finishing off my my whole Goosebumps storybook. I love books. I love reading. So, thank you very much for listening and for watching, and I'll post again soon. Bye.